What's up everybody, a spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on the Space Engineers Inspiration series. We're starting things off today with the Minotaur and Falcon. It's a bit of a two-for-one deal. Uh, the Minotaur is a Dreadnought, I believe, and the Falcon is classified as, I guess, an exploration? Um, this is another one from Endless Space 2, though, I guess, at least the design of the ship, anyway. Um, which kind of makes me want to look into Endless Space 2. There's been a couple of recent... I don't know what the recent craze about Endless Space 2 ships has been, um, but they're kind of pretty cool looking. This is the Falcon one right here, if I can get the sun out of my face. There we go. So, yeah, it's really, really cool looking. This is a world, and it does contain mods, just FYI. Uh, and the description really was more of a specifics kind of thing. Like, it just went through the different things the ship had and how many thrusters and all that good stuff. Not really too much else. So, in terms of, like, room layout and stuff, we're a bit on our own. Now, lucky for... Well, lucky for me, all of the people that really like the door timer are probably disappointed. But we have that huge, giant hangar... Uh, so we shouldn't have a problem finding our way into this ship. And by the way, this is a technique that I've seen a lot of builders use, even if it's not a mod thing, even if it's a vanilla thing. I mean, they're... Uh, no, those are vanilla lights. Those are corner lights. Um, but I like this idea where there's supposed to be an engine or something, and then they put lights in there to kind of add the ambiance when you don't actually want the thruster in the area or something like that. I think that's a really cool effect. It's very, very useful. Uh, but yeah, so overall, I really like the design of the ship. There's a lot of heavy detail and stuff involved. And a lot of... It's probably part of the reason that it's modded is there seems to be... I don't know for sure, but there seems to be a lot of extra... Um, type curve and slant ramp blocks and things like that for the added detail. Let's check out this one, actually. Because uh, this was a little unexpected when I first pulled up the, the world file, that it actually has two. I don't know if this has the capability to dock, like, inside the hangar, or if it'll fit in the other ship or not. Um, it does have a connector there, so I imagine that there's at least one or two spots where it can dock with the other ship, but that's kind of like hooked to the side. Um, I don't know if it would fit in the hangar or anything. But yeah, a lot of cool design work and stuff. A lot of little details. And my hat goes off to people that really put the time and effort into doing all those little detail things. It really helps the ship stand out and feel complete and unique and stuff, but man is that time consuming. All the little piping and all that kind of stuff. Alright, let's check out the inside of this one first. The interiors also drew my eye. Um, they look pretty cool. Again, with the modded, you know, interiors always look a little bit more detailed. Um, I don't know if this one has too much of an interior other than this main... Oh, yeah, it does. Okay. I was going to say, this is a pretty big ship. Even for it being a smaller uh, exploration with a dreadnought sitting right over there, off to the side. It still looked big enough to have an interior, so that makes me happy. I was, I was like, oh, don't tell me it's all, it's all just engine stuff. But I, I really like these types of things too. These like overseer offices type of deal. I really like those. Um, sometimes they're supposed to be like an overseer office. Sometimes it's just like a ops room or whatever. But I really do like those as, um, as stuff as such. That is that all one block. That must be a new block. I think it is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a new block. I don't remember that being in the Colts pack before. That's pretty cool. Okay, okay. Just to double check and make sure I'm not steering people wrong. Let me grab a welder so that I can make sure I'm right. Yeah, ceiling monitor too. And then that's... Yeah, that's all one block. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't telling people the wrong thing. Uh, and then we have a workout room. Now, again, this is this one, The I think it's the Falcon. Minotaur and Falcon, I think, was the name of them. Um, the Falcon one here is an exploration ship. I am 
since it's an exploration ship, though, I am kind of wondering where everybody sleeps. Like, it's got a rec room area, or a react room, as some would call it. Um, but I didn't really see anywhere else. I mean, there's a cryo chamber. Yay. That's comfortable. Um, yeah, so unless I missed a doorway or something, I don't think I did. I don't know if they have an actual, like, bunk. It makes me wonder if the uh, the Falcon here is actually really heavily tied to um, the Minotaur here, like it's exploring but it leaves from this ship or something, to where the Minotaur is actually like where the crew actually stays or something like that. I don't know. I'm speculating. Because I didn't see any beds on the exploratory one. So now we're in the Minotaur, which is the main event and the big, bigger, much bigger of the two. Um, let's head forward before we do anything else. So there's an interior canal type thing there. I don't know if that's a hangar or not. We've got an exterior view of um, the world. And like I don't know if I mentioned it before, but this is a world download, not a blueprint, so... I don't know that there isn't a blueprint version, but the one I found was World, so there's some other things in here that if you have a little bit of a lower end uh, rig, I notice my frame rate dipped a few times below 30, and it's probably because I, if I'm seeing this right, they've got asteroids and stuff loaded into the world, so um, if you wanted to try and if maybe it was just running a little bit slow, you could probably cut and paste it into another world with the appropriate mods and such, and then take that out, and that might help. I don't know. That would be my guess. Just something to note. Um, one interesting thing is it shows like a walkway over there, but I don't see one unless you have to go up these stairs, which is probably what you have to do. And what is this? Ooh, reactors. And I love the glass chambers. I love that. I really, really do. Um, I'm guessing this is the main? Since it's the only one with a door? Still advocating that they make a one block airlock door in the vanilla game. Just want to throw that out there. I said my piece. Um, buttons with no real panels or anything, so let's go up this way. Which brings us over here. And that goes somewhere else, but this is the upper walkway, it looks like, that we were seeing on the other side. So there is one on both. It did say hangar, so I guess this is the main hangar. Wow. This is a big hangar. Oh, I see. This is where. This is the um, entry point we were going to come in at before. Wait a minute. Where does this go? Oh, it goes up. I was like, I didn't miss a passageway, did I? So this is the main hangar chamber. I don't know. You might actually be able to fit that falcon in here. I don't really know, to be quite honest. It's possibly doable. Um, so from here, we know that those doors lead back to the other hallway with a ramp in the middle. So let's see if we can kind of meet in the middle. And we'll go this way. And see where it takes us. Ooh, I don't know. This is pretty high. We might have we might have skipped something. Uh, luckily, we keep finding these dead ends, so I know we're not missing anything in other directions. So that's pleasant for me. I hate feeling like I'm getting lost or I'm going, you know, missing out on seeing stuff and having to double back. So I'm guessing all of those ramps end up leading back down through those arches. Alright, let's speed this up. So, wee! So yeah, you could look down on the on the uh, catwalks, passage area, something to that effect. Not really sure what the name would be. Uh, very organized utility and processor situation, by the way, with the pipes cutting off the refineries and a bunch of, like, that's very, very organized. Um, we have the Death Star plans here, clearly. That is totally not a spherical gravity generator at all. It's definitely the Death Star. Um, wardroom? Hmm. 
storage room. Not really honestly sure what that is. That could be something. Okay, that does actually lead here. Okay. I thought that was too... I thought the other one went up too high for it to be the same connection point, but I guess it is. I like this stuff, too. Um, I honestly never thought to use this, but this cascading ramp system to make, like, the archways is really cool. And what I mean by that is, like, these are the, um, the front end ramps and these are the back. And it makes, like, a cool archway. So if you've never seen that before, some of the builds have been fairly, uh, commonly using that technique. Woo! Sorry if I gave anybody a seizure or anything there. Second cockpit. We haven't found the first one yet. Oh well. It's here, it's in front of us, and it's a dead end. So let's find out what this looks like. So this is actually the secondary one. I thought this was the primary from the screenshots. Good grief. If this is the secondary, what's the primary look like? Nice view though. Definitely like the view. And it's a very open layout. It's like Let's be honest, this is not a cockpit, this is a bridge, or a second bridge, or whatever. A cockpit is like a seat with a canopy over top of it or something. That's like a full-on uh, bridge. Um, I guess this is like the emergency patch? If not, it should be. That's the everybody get the heck out of here door. That would be a funny name for the door, actually. Uh... Seizure warning. Whee! Long hallways. Alright. So, I think what's left is this ramp up here going to the ward room. Not sure if it's supposed to... I think it's war room. I think there's just an extra letter there. I think that's what that's supposed to be. I don't know, though. I'm speculating. Because this does not look like a war room. So, maybe... I don't know. I just can't say I've ever run across that word before. Uh, cryo chambers. We have a rec room type thing going on here. I love the view though. This is awesome. Like, could I just have a hard time imagining actually being like out in space, but being comfortable, like you know, climate control, comfy sofas, TV, all that, and then just looking out your window and oh yeah, there's just space. That would be really cool. And a little bit freaky if you're not completely crazy. Anyways, I think so anyway. Some people would disagree with me. I I think you'd have I think you'd have to be just a a little bit crazy for that not to freak you out a little bit. Like just a fraction, just a micro holy crap, if this window cracks we all die. Kind of thing. Um, very, very, very nice view. I'm guessing this is the actual main bridge here, with this little extended uh, walkway. Um, well, I don't, I don't know what I'm really ledge. Let's go with that. No, that's not a ledge. Anyways, overhang something. Captain's cabin. Awesome cabin. By the by, uh, he's got his own pool table, arcade, ping pong table, sofa, workout room. Um, this side is conspicuously blank, which is kind of odd. And then a bed with a phenomenal view. My only complaint? Doesn't look like the dude has a door, which is kind of weird. <laughs> I mean, I get it. it. Sometimes you gotta cater to the way the game works and not the way that you actually want the ship to look, but it's just a little odd. No door. Um, anyways, so I think... That's probably all there really is to see on this one. We can try and move it around a bit. I'm not expecting it to move all that wonderfully, given its size. Oh, I'm going to clip that ship. Eh, climb. Nope, clipped it. Yep, nope, definitely clipped it. How's our speed, though? Yeah, no, definitely clipped it. Totally ran over my own ship. Kids, don't try this at home. I'm a professional. <laughs> professional at breaking things, anyway. Uh, the clunking sound concerns me a bit when you're turning. I don't know if there's anything loose or if that's all just the Falcon that I ran over. Uh, speed? 
we're probably using the modded thrusters is what that's from, but the speed actually works really well. Turning is a little sluggish, but hey, it's a dreadnought. What do you expect? So yeah, that's going to do it for this one. Let's move on to the next one. Alrighty, so next up we have the industrial building hydroponics farm. Now this is vanilla and it is a blueprint. Uh, hence why there's actually some edge parts that are sticking up and some that aren't is because I tried to paste this in but I'm not really on a level part of the planet and it didn't really paste in correctly per se. Um, it's actually just a flat bottom so there's no real under the hood things that need to be in the ground or anything like that but if you had a flat level area that would probably be the best thing to work with. Um, so yeah, the description was nil, so I don't really have a whole lot to go on here other than obviously it's a hydroponic farm, which they're using solar farms to kind of replicate hydroponics, which is cool. Um, I did read in a couple of the discussion things, not discussion, the comments on this workshop file though, that apparently I did not know this. It kind of doesn't really make sense, which is what a lot of people were complaining about, but apparently in the game mechanics, um, the solar farms don't actually work if they're under glass. Kind of weird. Um, at best, I would have thought it would have been like a decreased efficiency or something. Like it's not quite getting as much direct sunlight because of the tinted window or something. But yeah, apparently they just don't work at all. Um, so that's something to keep in mind if you wanted to try and replicate it, but we're using it for survival purposes. Um... Other than that, it's fairly straightforward. I mean, it's a base with a farm kind of thing, but I just really thought the design work was really cool. It has the industrial kind of feel. It has, you know, you can see it being something that you actually see in like a space base kind of thing where this is our, you know, hydroponic area, that kind of thing. Um, got some of this cool stuff like outdoor awnings and lighting and a garage and all that stuff. And again, especially coming off of one that we just saw that was a modded one, being vanilla to have a high level of detail and stuff is really cool. Like the the stuff in the shop and things like that that's all in the shelves and all that good stuff. It's really cool. Really cool stuff. Um, yeah, so we got cargo, we got refinery stuff, oxygen farm, batteries. Oh wow, a lot of batteries. Uh, I do want to check out the industrial building over here too. I don't know where... I guess this would be like the main base kind of thing, like the operations center, if you will. We've got some windows over there. Walk way over there to a door that goes somewhere. I mean, that is the very nature of doors, is to go somewhere. Or to keep you from going somewhere, mayhaps. So we got a bunch of viewing station type things, a bunch of windows. And then I'm guessing this leads back down to that other door. Yes. I am a little surprised there's no like office type thing or admin, but I have seen, I don't know if it's the same builder, it probably is, but I have seen a few of these like uh, industrial or civilian type building layouts. So it's probably designed to be kind of a modular system where this goes to like an admin building or something like that. Uh, but like I said, overall, I just really liked the look and feel of the design. And you got little, little tiny details like this grate over top of the conveyor. Actually, that's a good idea. I never really thought to do that before, but that's actually not a bad idea to do a grate over conveyors like that. I mean, it's harder to walk on, but you get the... You get the uh, sci-fi look, uh, but with the industrial grunge kind of look too. Like there's the pipes and all that kind of stuff under the grates and things while it's still kind of futuristic. So overall, I thought it was pretty cool. I wanted to include it, and there you go. We included it. So like I said though, without a description or anything specific to go off of, that's it's kind of straightforward. It's a you know, it's a hydroponics farm, but it, it had a cool look and design to it, so I wanted to include it. Uh, but I think that's going to do it for it, so let's move on to the last one. Alrighty, so last but not least, we have the IFI Catfish, I think? I'm not 100% positive on that name. I know there's catfish in there somewhere. Um... 
Yeah, see? Catfish. I wasn't lying. Uh, I'd... IFI. Ah, I got it right. Oh, I missed the one. Whoops. Um, I really, really like the thrusters, first of all. I love these side angular thruster things. That's really, really cool. I like that design a lot. Um, I like the turret on the back here, too. That's kind of cool. It, like, protects the thrusters. But overall, yeah, it was, an, it was an interesting design kind of thing. I thought it looked kind of cool, especially with the interior and everything. It has a couple of interesting features. One I want to check out is the hologram TV thing that's in the description. There's also retractable landing gears, which looks to be this part right here. Um, let's see, what do we got here? Landing gear lock, rotor reverse, landing gear unlock. So this is probably going to be the ramp. Right here. Okay. And then I'm assuming that brings it back up. And then this will lock it. Oh, that's kind of cool. It took me a minute. It's the color of the lock and ready lock type thing. Got a window to the bridge up there. So you can make sure that, you know, your pilot's not doing anything screwy. Um, what is this for? Airlock vent. Eh, we don't need a vent. We're good. So, yeah, I really like, um... Since it's built out of a small ship grid, I really like some of the, uh, like the hallway and this little window thing and stuff like that. It feels very homey, very cool. You know, like um, a ship actually would, very compact and efficient. Um, what do we got here? Oh, I can't interact with it in the chair. Duh. Okay, what do we got? Why can't I highlight these buttons? Oh, they, they don't have anything. No, they're supposed to highlight and say empty. Table lights. Ah, so there's that. Ah, there we go. Projector screen one and screen two. I'm not sure if that's the hollow TV that was being referenced in the description or not. We've got the bridge up here. We'll come back to this in a minute so that we can mess around with the flight controls and see how it flies. Obviously, we've got a couple bunks there. Let's see what's back in here. We have a, oh, like a gyro array. That's kind of cool. I really like that, actually. Uh, jump drive, three reactors, and a bathroom. A very small one, but a bathroom nonetheless. Toilet sink light, toilet door, toilet lights. And I did read in the description that uh, the reason this was kind of kind of wedged in here like this was because um, the builder was running out of room. So it was like I wanted one in here and that was the only place they would fit. Kind of reminded me how I build things half the time. It's like I couldn't fit anywhere. Okay, so this has to be the hologram TV type thing. I'm assuming. I don't know, man. Hologram TVs. I wanted to see what was up. What was going on. Um, Alright, so what do we have here? Landing gears. Landing gear lock, Gatling guns, rocket launchers, rotors, reverse landing gear, switch lock, and jump drives. And it looks like that's probably all there is. So, with that in mind, let's check out our retractable landing gears. That scared me for a minute. The camera jumped. I thought it, I thought it broke something. So that's pretty cool. I like the little bay that they pull up into. It's compact and stuff, but still very functional. Um, Gatling guns. Those look like the two up there mounted on the top. Yeah, okay. I don't. I didn't know if there's any other extras. And I'm just noticing some of this piping that's a little asymmetrical and adds a little bit of depth to it, which is kind of cool. Um, it almost looks like it's trying to feed into the Gatling guns and stuff like that, so that's pretty neat. I like some of that. I hadn't really noticed that before. Uh, and then we've got the two Gatling guns, or the rockets under the nose, right there. Like so. I'm not really sure what the rotor reverse does, unless that's for the ramp. That must be for the ramp. Because it's, yeah. So if we unlock that, and then, yeah. Okay. So that's what that's for. 
All right, so let's test the flight capabilities and see what it ends up doing. Ooh, I like the turning. The turning and everything is super smooth. Speed's not too bad. Slowing down... Actually, that's not, too, that's not that bad. It probably uses modded thrusters. I'm guessing. I don't know to be sure. Those could be vanilla or not. I think those actually are the hydrogen ones. Uh, actually, those might be too. Now that I'm looking at them. So it may not use it. I know it's a world file, so there may or may not be mods. I don't really know. It didn't really say whether it did or not. But yeah, overall, I really like the ship. It's a really cool design, especially for a small ship um, with the kind of minimal small crew interior type of thing. I like it. I like it a lot. So that's going to do it for us for this episode. We're going to wrap things up here. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace.